hi this is through truncation that's our uh, video today so a fuller truncated one over nine to three decimal places and we are supposed to determine the percentage error arising uh, from that truncation and uh, it's very important that i mention what truncation is truncation is where let's say you have uh, digits and you chop them off according to some certain criteria for example you can have numbers like 0 0.1111 one 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 and you decide that because this number is very long you cut up to this point so when you cut up to this point maybe you are saying you are cutting correct to one two three four decimal places or you can say correct to four significant figures or some correct uh, degree of accuracy okay so we solve this problem and another one here and we get to understand how uh, truncation is dealt with so we're fully truncated one over nine and the first thing that we're going to do here in our solution is to ask ourselves what is one over nine in decimal form one over nine in decimal form is 0 0.111 so we can confirm from our calculator here it's 0. Point, it's 0. 0.11111 one 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 i think we have how many ones one two three four five six seven eight nine ones so one two three four five six seven eight nine correct that's the accurate answer to our one over nine all right that fraction can be written in decimal form this way but this guy decided to chop off some digits okay so chopped off correct to three decimal places so one two three up to that point this guy chopped off, kind of ignored the rest, right? So what was the error arising from this truncation? And I want to tell you that an error is um, the difference between the actual value and the estimated or the approximated value, okay? So actual value is 1 over 9. The actual value here is 1 over 9. And then the estimated value Is equals to uh, 0 0.111 that's this number correct to three decimal places so what's the error error is the difference so you have 1 over 9 minus 0 0.111 okay and so we are going to have uh, 1 divided by 9 minus 0 0.111 so we get um, uh, we're going to get 0 point zero 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 one 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 and so on right so what's then the percentage error you know percentage error is given by uh, absolute error over the actual value times a hundred percent okay so our absolute error will be this right so we have 0 0.00011111 and so on divide by the actual value that's one over nine okay then you multiply by a hundred percent so this is going to give us the percentage error so you take that you divide by one um 1 over 9 and we are going to get that the answer here before we multiply by 100 is 1.0 times 10 to the power minus 3 times 100 percent to going to give us 0 0.1 percent so 0 0.1 percent is the error that arises after our flat truncates 1 over 9 to 3 decimal places okay so that's uh, the solution to that problem. We got another problem here and we have a different person altogether trying to truncate uh, this number here. Uh, 7 over 9 to 3 decimal places coincidentally. So we have Mwangi truncated 7 over 9 to 3 decimal places. Calculate the percentage error resulting from the truncating. Okay, so to solve this one, 
again um, we do the same thing here we take 7 over 9 as our actual right so this is the actual value so actual value it's 7 over 9 the estimated value here estimated value okay so we first of all need to write this one in decimal form so that we can know which point we are going to chop off the digits so 7 divided by 9 we have 0 0.7777777 don't need all those but we need up to some 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 number here which does not uh, go less than the number of decimal places we need so this guy chopped off correct to three decimal places just like the way we did the previous example so chopped off up to that point and ignored those numbers so the approximated value is 0 0.777 and so when you get the difference between this and that will give you the absolute error so absolute error here or the error itself we have 7 over 9 minus 0 0.777 and this gives me so 7 divided by 9 minus 0 0.777 right that gives me okay i'll write it in power form standard form rather 7.777 times 10 to power minus 4 right okay so I've ignored some numbers here because once I multiply by 100%, I may not even get there. So then the percentage error for this will be this one divided by actual. So we have 7.777 times 10 to the power minus 4 divided by 7 over 9 times 100%. Okay, It's getting messy here, but I'm very sure you're getting to understand what we're doing. So you take that the way it is, divide by... 7 over 9 that's why i was saying it's not going to be a very difficult thing so we have 1.0 uh, times 10 to power minus 3 before we multiply by 100 so when you multiply by 100 what's our answer times 100 percent so you get 0 0.1 percent so uh it's like we have the same answer we had in our previous example here when we were having somebody by the name of fuller truncating one over nine to three decimal places and the error was still 0 0.1 percent and here for mwangi who is a different person dealing with a different fraction but correct to the same uh, decimal places getting the same answer and that's how it's done thank you